You know in Bible there's a story about a Joseph, a man who could interpret his dreams. Really? And his name was Joseph? Yes, his name was Joseph, the son of Jacob. Was he the son of Jacob who was known as Israel? Right, Lucy. I can see that you haven't forgotten the story I told you the other day. Father, was Joseph really able to read his dream? Yes, children. Do you want to hear his story? Yes, Father. All right, sit down then. Joseph was the first child born to Jacob and his favorite wife, Rachel. With the birth of Benjamin, her second child, Rachel died. Jacob loved Joseph the most, which made his brothers jealous. Uh, this is heavy. Oof, it's so hot today and it's not even noon yet. Hmm, yes, it's getting hotter every day and all our crops are dying. Don't stand there and talk. We have to finish this by evening. Yeah, we can, if our father's pet will help us. Hello everyone. Why are you here? Nothing. Father asked me to check on the progress, so I came here. Father's little pet has come to check on our work. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Why are you angry with me? Leave. Leave me. Ugh. Father is expecting you to have this field harvested by sunset. We can finish this field by noon, if you can help us. I can't do that. I have to go to other fields to inspect. He is younger than all of us. Why should we take orders from him? And it's done. Is that for me, father? No, son. It's for your brother. It's a gift for him, as it is his birthday today. Father? Will I get a same one when I get older? Haha, <laughs> of course dear. I'll get you one when you're 17 years old. I don't know what their problems. <sighs> wow, this is amazing. Do you like it son? It's, it's wonderful. Joseph, this is a gift for your 17th birthday. Oh, thank you so much father. What is that? What? Look at Joseph's coat, you fool! Wow! Our father must have given this to him. And we are here to work like slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, I had a strange dream last night. Oh, shut up. We are not interested in your dreams. Stop it. Joseph, tell us about your dreams. I dreamt that we were each tying up our sheaf of wheat. And when we had finished, your sheaves of wheat bowed down to me. Did you mean that we bowed down to you? So, you want to rule over us? Is that so? I... I don't know. What did you mean? None of us will ever let you be our king. All right, all right. Just forget it. I'll tell you about another dream. What? You rode a flying camel? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> or were you flying yourself in the skies? <laughs> Maybe one of us will kick you so strong that you'll end up flying. Ha 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 ha. Perhaps, perhaps I shouldn't bother. Come on, Joseph. Okay, I dreamt I had climbed a mountain. I looked up and saw the sun, the moon, 
and the stars. And they all bow down to me. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but father, why are you entertaining Joseph's fantasies? You must have patience, son. If it is the will of God, then we'll all bow down to Joseph. Ha! I had enough. It's because you always favor him that he has such grand delusions. Judah, come back. Joseph, go to Shechem and see how your brothers are doing. Yes, father. It's a long journey, so it would be better if we can leave by tomorrow itself. Sure, father. I will leave tomorrow at dawn. Good. You should be back in 12 days. God willing. Don't worry, father. No harm will come to me. Following his father's instruction, Joseph left for Shechem. He traveled for many days and finally reached where his brothers were working. Oh, look who's coming. The dreamer? Perhaps we should all bow down to him. Our father's spy. I'd like to break his bones. Ha! Huh. I say we kill him today and get rid of him forever. Brothers, listen. We could throw him in that empty well over there. No one will ever know. No, but we cannot kill our brother. We are not gonna kill him. Shut up. He's coming. Oh, leave me. Made in Egypt, is it? Just for father's pet. Ha! Huh. Leave me. What are you doing? You think you can rule over us forever? Hold him, guys. Leave me. Uh, leave me. Come on, guys. Stop. He's our brother. Stop. Stop. No. Uh, stand aside, you. Leave me, please. Let us know if you have a dream. Ha ha ha. Now, throw him. <laughs> oh. So, it is done. Brothers, help me. Hey, look. There are some merchants coming here. Somebody help, please. I think they have heard Joseph shouting. Why don't we sell our brother to these merchants? This way, we won't be accused of killing the dreamer and we will get few pennies too. That's a good idea. Come on, throw him a rope and let's pull him out of the well. The brothers sold Joseph to the Midianite merchants for 20 pieces of silver. And the merchants took Joseph to Egypt as a slave. Brothers, please don't let them take me. Ah, uh, stop crying and start walking. I'll break your leg if you try to escape. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. But how could you? Selling our own brother. It's unheard of. Nah, this is better. Remember that we were about to kill him. He's still alive, no? What are you going to say to father? Hey, look, I took Joseph's coat and I drenched it with goat's blood. Ah, that's great. Now we can make up some story on the way. Come on. Uh, at least he's alive now. God, please help him. Joseph's brothers dipped his coat in the blood of a goat and took it to their father. No, no, no. I think... I think the wild animals attacked him. What have I done? Oh, my son. My son, apple of my eye. 